Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Uh, this is okay. I'm gonna give a give it right at the start. This is a huge shout out to Childish. Uh, he, the guy actually sent me a voice message online. He online, not online. Uh, in the line messaging app. Damn it, I'm explaining this too much. Uh, and he told me, I. Out of the blue, right? He he does send me these voice messages because he can't type sometimes, but that's besides the question. He tells me, you know, man, I have this idea about a video. I think I could do it all right, but given your uh, content, I think you could do it better, or I think you could do it more justice, you know. And man, I was spe at the time I was like speechless. It was such a nice gesture and a big, big, big heartfelt thank you to you, childish. Um, and yes, I am taking that idea, and that idea is a bit of expanding on the How to Rune uh, series. Is It is how to pick runes from the shop, because there are so many questions on, on Reddit and on uh, on, fa on the Summer's Fellowship group that I'm in, in on uh, Facebook. Do I buy this rune? Do I buy this rune? Do I buy this rune? Well, let's find out if you buy it. Remember, the difference between shop runes, and, like do I keep this rune or do I buy this rune, is exactly that little verb. So this is different, you should not judge shop runes in the same uh, way that you judge uh, dungeon runes that you got. Because those are for free, or those are for energy. Energy is not something that you hoard, it's something you use. But mana, mana is very important. Like, I love mana. You should uh, you should keep it around to 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 plus fifteen your runes. Plus fifteen your runes is way too good. It's I think by far the best use of mana in the game. Um, so buying runes is a very different uh, you know a very different thing. Okay, so let's start at the beginning, I guess. Yeah, let's start at the beginning. So early game players. If you see a six star rune in the shop, that is two four six of any percentage or speed, you buy it. Except if it's resistance. Anything else, you buy it. Because why? Even if it's white, it doesn't matter. It can have crappy subs. That doesn't matter. You need it. You want those. Like obviously, if you have the mana, right? So that that's for early game players. For also. Also, early game players, that the same that, that's the must buy. Like the six star, even white, as far as it's as long as its percentage is not some flat HP four slot or something. Uh, from white to legendary, you buy it. Doesn't matter what subs it has. You need the the raw stats the, uh, themselves. If you don't have the only exception is if you don't have a lot of mana, and you have like two more runes exactly the same. You've been lucky enough, and you have like two four slot HP energy runes and uh, a third one shows up in the shop and it's not you know it does it's not legendary with speed defense crit rate and uh you know flat hp then okay don't buy it the third one it's okay you don't you don't need to invest that money into something that can go wrong but any other possibility you buy you buy that six star rune five star runes in the shop they can be quite expensive as well but let's do a couple of shop refresh maybe uh, we'll get an example and i'll show you uh but yeah shop refreshes are not i don't like them i prefer because they don't give you much anyway so for early game players back to early game players if you see a rune like this one four star i wouldn't recommend you buy it except if it's violent you might need it like for a very early game player, I would buy this violent rune, for example. It doesn't have speed, but it has defense and accuracy. It's a decent Bella rune, for example, early on. Uh, but yeah, overall, shop runes for early game, you buy everything. 135s, I wouldn't buy the, the 6 star white ones because it's too much gambling. Uh, but I would buy everything like five stars from green, five star one three fives from green to legendary, and uh, uh, six star one three fives from green to legendary. I would buy them all. Uh, some six stars I would buy them as well if they were white. So violent, I would buy it. Uh, 
Will no Will and M's don't show up in this so just violent. The only myself, the only runes of one three five that I've bought that were white were violence, nothing else. And only ba you know b before I was farming dragon, back when I actually needed every single stat. I don't I don't think I have any left from that age. Um, but I used to have some left where you you could actually see that these runes were, you know, they had one row in each stat, right? Because they were white. Yeah, I, I I don't I really don't think I have any left, but that's how it, that's how it was. Like you 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 bought those early game, early game meaning you're not farming that dungeon yet, or you're not even farming giants yet. But let's say you're farming giants very slowly, and you're that that let's define that as early game. Giants B eight or something. So let's say mid game now for the for the mid game players as you go on and you actually have some you have you have farmed let's say giants for three four months you've uh, you're close in clearing toa or you've cleared it already you're about to go into dragons or you just have started dragons and uh you know you get you you refresh the shop every and every one hour you see what happens and uh, maybe you get some good runes the how do you differentiate between buying everything like you used to do as an early game player and now you start buying you know a bit less what you do is you always have to be aware of what runes you have uh you do not you buy stuff that you should you should let's say you have three four three or four uh violent slot fives but one violent slot three you are at a stage now that you actually need to have complete sets and variable sets and uh, you have to actually increase the stats from all, all together. So let's say you, you have a Violent Bella but you don't have a Violent Veromos and you're missing a Violent Slot 3. Even if you get a Violent Slot 3 that is b blue and has HP and defense, doesn't have speed, you will buy that for your Veromos because you want to complete that set. You are at a stage where completing those sets and um, improving the stats on them is very 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 important because you want to make your dragons run safer or uh, make them faster those two things for the most part or you know clear TOA if you haven't cleared it already etc etc so for example this rune you would not buy but if you got a, a five star one you would obviously right mystical scrolls and all that stuff you instantly buy it right this is another example an early game player you should buy this rune a crit rate rune you know it it could help your aman it can help your vert if you get one you know you buy it blade is a very good set early on it falls off big time as you go into mid game but it's a good investment they are very cheap runes so you can do that as a mid game player this is a very good example of a rune that you do not buy because you will most likely not find any use for it whatsoever so as a mid game player the, 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 the you don't get as concrete uh, you know uh, barriers well no borders as uh, an early game player it's I can't say to you if it's white at six star buy it I, I can't say that because it depends on your runes it starts depending the shop the shop is a very risky business think of it like uh actually not as a mid game as a late gamer as a late gamer the shop is wall street very risky anyway uh back to the mid game so remember the, the the shop doesn't have will and nemesis and stuff so you have to pick between you know the the starting runes from uh blade to violent and uh for the most part, I would recommend buying rune sets that are rarer to come by and have more long-term value. So, Blade is not one of those sets. Swift is one of those sets, but it has that speed on it, obviously. Violent. Uh, what else do you get in the shop? Uh, Despair is very... Like, if you haven't farmed dragon, uh, giants enough and you're lacking Despair runes, buy Despair runes from the shop, they're very good. Um, rage, yes, rage shows up. Even though it's a necro, you have a chance to get some good rage runes from the shop. But I would, since you can't actually farm them, it can take a seriously long time as a mid game player. So I would not suggest, you know, buying five star, uh, four stars and bad five stars or even decent five stars. 
I'll just wait for those very good runes and just bide my time until I actually get into Necro. Um, just go for the violence and the swifts and the uh, despairs for the most part. And be very careful. Um, be very careful because when you buy a rune, you, you've already spent money on it. You know, it, it's not like you spent 8 energy, you got a rune from the... I'm, re re I'm repeating myself, I know, but I want to really drill this into you. The shop, shop runes are, are an investment. That's why you see all those uh, questions, do I buy this rune, do I buy this rune? Because people are not sure if, the, if those runes are good enough. Um, honestly, I do not buy runes from the shop. I do not buy many runes from the shop, even as a mid-game player. I do not like it. I do not like, but I'm not. I don't take risks too much. If you want to take some risks, buying uh, runes from the shop is not a bad idea. Or maybe I was just unlucky. I didn't get very good runes in the shop. But you know, it it depends. Uh, again, it depends on what runes you have, how good they are. Like yeah, see, this rune has attack and crit rate, but as a mid-game player, I still wouldn't buy it because. You know, it's four star. As an early game player, I would buy the hell out of this rune. Let's do one more refresh. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm doing anything, and I hate wasting my crystal. So, uh, I hope mid games player, uh, mid game players that helped you. Uh, Violent speed runes is a very good example of what you should like insta buy as a mid game player You can never have enough trust me. I've been there. I was like, oh, I have so many I had like six or seven violent speed runes and then I was like, where are my violent speed runes? I was during rune removal. I was ruining stuff up and I'm like, where are my violent speed runes? Oh, I'm using them all and I had actually sold two like two days ago two days before because I thought I had too many Never have too many of those buy them instantly and just, you know, the best ones, the best monsters get the best ones, and then you can actually give the slightly worse ones to other monsters. But always keep them. Violent speed runes is five star or six star is a prime example of what you should always buy uh, as a mid game player. You can never have enough. <laughs> uh, as a late game player, you guys probably don't need much advice. Late game, I I assume late game is you've cleared everything and you're getting ready to get into raids or you already are in R4. That's what I call late game. Uh, so you guys, for you it's a, a, a total, you know, investment. Uh, it's it's investment banking or something. <laughs> That's the, it's sto the stock market. The, the shop is a stock market. It's a mini stock market. You invest in a rune, it can turn out terribly, but you know, there's always that risk. So, what I would do, because yes, risk taking is okay, but big risk taking can set you back. So you buy a 600k uh, ma uh, mana rune, and then you spend another 100k getting it. Uh, we're assuming this is legendary, right? You spend a another 100 getting it to plus nine or even more. Let's say you spend. Uh, let's say to get it to plus 12, you spend another 200k. That's 800,000 mana. That that can actually 12 to 15 one rune. And you might, you know, get nothing or something very bad from it uh, in the late game. So, honestly, I would not I would I would look as a late game player, I mostly buy legendary runes if I buy anything. And they have to have a, more than two good uh, like three or more good uh, substat potential. So let's say it's a swift, it's a violent speed rune, and uh, let's say it has HP, defense, and resistance. Uh, or it's an attacker speed rune and it has uh, crit rate, attack, and uh, it's a speed rune, right? And it has crit rate, attack, and HP. Let's say. So it has three. So whatever it does, it has. A, a very decent chance of uh, returning my investment. If it has, obviously, if it's a swift legendary rune with speed on it, you buy it. Duh. <laughs> Whatever the investment doesn't matter. But that aside, I I try to 
uh, maybe I'm playing a bit too safe. Maybe you should uh, have one or more <laughs> decent, uh, two or more, not three or more, like I do it for legendary runes. I I, may, I don't ever buy epic runes. Maybe I don't get them, but I don't really need them. But I'm too late game. Maybe like early late game players, you would need epic runes as well. So you do want but for epic runes the the it would go one more down so instead of three or more good stats sub stats you would go for two or more good sub stats and as i said if you really want to be safe about it uh if you want to be less safe about it and you want to go for it and try you can reduce those uh requirements and say okay for legendary runes i want to ha i wanted to have two or more decent stats that way i have a decent uh, have a pretty good chance of getting uh, what I want out of this rune or at least something a decent result instead of you know outer failure failure uh, and don't be disappointed do not change your creed uh, on rune buying yes sometimes you will buy that violent rune that has three good stats and one bad one and then uh, you know they all go into the bad stat it happens. It's happened to every single one of us. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, if you um, if you buy the, uh, if you buy the, if you buy runes, these things will happen, and it's okay. Just don't change your philosophy and your creed. I you believe that you should buy runes that have two or more good subsets? Do that. Always do that. Do not be swayed by uh, past failures or past successes. You know. Just have the same creed and ha be stable. Be stable in your decisions. I know it sounds like a bit of uh, like too much, uh, too much philosophizing on fucking rune buying, but it's not because these things pile up. You gotta think long term. These things. I've been playing for two years. I've been in late. I've been in late game for over a year now. Uh, if I had bought all the runes that I could have bought. You know, like maybe 15 or 20 more of my speed runes, or of my uh, plus 15 runes, would not be plus 15 because I wouldn't have had the mana. You know, it th these things pile up, and you should think about it, and you should uh, be resolute in how you want to structure your account and your account policy. <laughs> I'm talking with weird jargon. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. I hope this helped. Uh, I actually had my notes here <laughs> about this, but they were kind of convoluted. That I, 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 I'm not sure this was a great video, but I hope I did I did justice. I hope I did childish justice. Once again, shout out, and I hope this helps you guys somehow, some way, to developing your own sense of how to uh, get better in this game. Thank you.